Welcome. In this module, I'll look at the logging and alerting facilities in Platform RTM. Often administrators want to be alerted under particular conditions. For example, they may want to know when a database server goes down, when hosts are unreachable, or when disk space falls below a threshold. Platform RTM provides flexible features to create these kinds of alerts. I'll select thresholds from the console window to set up a new alert. The threshold management screen shows me alerts I already have configured in the system. I have an alert that tells me when the number of pending jobs becomes too high in my build cluster. I'll show the steps involved in creating an alert like this. I can create alerts based on monitored parameters for any of the graphs we looked at in the last module, or I can create alerts based on particular hosts. As an example, I'll raise an alert if the number of pending jobs on the platform central cluster gets excessive. I'll associate the graph with SIMF2 since this is the master host for the platform central cluster. I'll select the graph template that shows pending jobs. And I'll create a threshold alert based on this host and graph template. I have the option of configuring this alert for all clusters in the environment or just the platform central cluster. I'll select just the platform central cluster. Our threshold is now named SIMF2 Pending Jobs. It's named automatically based on my selection of the host and template name. There are a number of useful options related to these alerts. For example, I can disable alerts on weekends, choose whether to be alerted when normal conditions are restored, and I can persist threshold violations as warnings, even when conditions return to normal. I can have different types of threshold alerts as well. In my case, I'm going to trigger an alert based on a high threshold value, where the threshold is the number of pending jobs. Just for demonstration purposes, I'll make this a low number. I'll raise an alert if there are more than three pending jobs in the cluster for more than a five minute period. I can also specify scripts to run when high or low threshold values are breached or when results return back to a normal value. I can define custom emails to send that include the platform RTM supplied descriptors containing information about the alert or even graphs. Raised alerts can appear in the syslog facility exposed through the platform RTM interface. I'll go ahead and enable this. With my threshold for pending jobs defined, I'll go ahead and save this threshold definition. And the definition is saved. I can select the T-hold tab to access the threshold plugin. Now I see the newly defined threshold. Let's look at the pending job graphs to see how many jobs are pending on the cluster right now. I'll search for the pending job graphs using filters. And I'll zoom in on the pending jobs graph. There are over 1800 pending jobs on the platform central cluster, certainly more than enough to raise our alarm. I'll select the T-hold tab so we can wait for the alert to be triggered. And sure enough, as soon as the polar checks the number of pending jobs, the alarm is raised. The pollers detected 1,846 pending jobs, exceeding our threshold by a wide margin. Note that this alert is automatically added to my syslog as well. This ability to consolidate logging from all hosts into a single interface helps make clusters easier to monitor and allows us to identify problems more quickly. I'll select the Grid tab. So far, we've been looking at threshold-based alerting using the T-hold plugin. In Platform RTM 8, an enhanced alerting facility provides even more flexibility. Grid alarms allow us to combine various metrics using flexible logical expressions to give us more control over exactly when alarms are raised. I'll select metrics under the grid alarm setup. Configuring these grid alarm metrics requires some understanding of the SQL database that underlies Platform RTM, but I can add any metrics from any database table and column as shown here. Once I have the metrics established, I can create an expression. I'll select Expression. I have two examples of expressions here, one that shows the number of hosts that are down in the cluster, and another that counts jobs that have been pending for more than two days. I'll look at the Excessive Pen Time expression. For those not familiar with SQL syntax, an expression builder makes it possible to build the criteria by which we decide whether pending times are excessive. In this case, I'll consider pending times excessive if the job is in a pending state and the job pen time is greater than 48 hours, or roughly 172,000 seconds. 
and I can use the Check Syntax button to verify that the expression syntax is valid. This expression is clearly OK. With metrics and a logical expression defined, I can now configure the alarm itself, similar to the way that we configure the threshold-based alarms. The main difference is that these alarms are triggered based on arbitrarily complex database expressions rather than on simple time series data. We have a lot of pending jobs, so it's no surprise we've triggered this alarm quite a lot. I'll select the Alarms tab. The excessive pending time alarm is in the alarm state. I'll click Add to show how I can create a new grid alarm. Setting up a grid alarm is similar to setting up a threshold-based alarm, except I have the added flexibility of using any of the custom database expressions, as well as more aggregation methods. Using an aggregation method like count can tell me how many hosts meet the criteria outlined in the expression. I can also base alarms on sums, averages, minimums, or maximums returned by the expressions for even more flexibility. Let's summarize what we've covered. With Platform RTM, I can raise alarms easily based on any parameter tracked in any of the many time-based graphs. This enables administrators to react more quickly than they could otherwise. Alarms can trigger automated scripts that can help avert problems even before they occur, improving reliability and service levels. By consolidating alerting into a single syslog view for all hosts in the cluster, large environments are more easily managed by a smaller number of administrators. And finally, with grid alarms, alarms or scripts can be triggered based on more complex criteria, giving administrators more ability to automate tedious manual tasks. I hope you've enjoyed this quick overview of platform RTM alerting. Thanks for your attention.